Today I want to show you three great Halloween projects that I made and that are a lot of fun. You can make them too. My name is James and you found Homestyle Woodcrafts. The first project I wanted to share with you are these Halloween cats. These cats are a simple build. They're made out of two by fours and they're a very versatile project. They're a great project for beginners because the cuts are simple and the materials are inexpensive. So these are made out of short lengths of two by four. Um, I, earlier I made sets um, that consisted of three cats. One was 12 inches, one was nine inches, and one was six inches. And they made a really nice looking set. Other materials besides the two by four that were used uh, was paint, this craft paint that was used to paint the eyes. And then some material like this ribbon or this twine to make uh, the collar. The tools I used were simple. I just used a jigsaw for all the cuts, uh, for the cross cuts and to make the ears. And then I used a speed square uh, to mark the angles for the ears. Um, and then also something that's kind of fun to know about these that some people are interested in is these are sellable. Uh, we made several sets and immediately sold them. And so other people enjoy them and shared, in fact, they shared their photos back with us about how they displayed them. So overall, this is a great beginner project that you can get a lot of fun out of and satisfaction. It's a very versatile project because you can paint them different ways and decorate them different ways and make them different sizes. So you can make them in a way that suits you and your preferences and your creative style. And if you're interested to see some detailed instructions on how to build them, then check out the video. The second project I'd like to share with you uh, in this video is this wooden tombstone. This can be a great beginner project because the construction is relatively simple and you can do some simple decoration on the face of it. If you're a more advanced woodworker or crafter, um, then it can still be a fun project because you can do more complicated embellishments on the face. I just wood burn this, uh, but you could carve it, you could cut it, you could add other pieces to it. So it can be a great versatile project as well. This is not expensive because it just takes one cedar fence picket to build and you can use one to build multiple ones if you wanted to make a little graveyard. In terms of cutting this, it's very simple. It's just one cross cut. And by the way, I demonstrate this in a video that I made that shows how to make these. And I'll put the link on the screen, so watch for that. And I'll also put it down in the description. But you just do a cross cut uh, to make this. And you can do that with a compound miter saw. You could even use a bandsaw, a jigsaw, or a table saw. And if you don't have any of those, you could use a handsaw and it wouldn't be a problem. So this is a great versatile uh, project you can do for Halloween to have some fun, but it's also versatile enough for somebody more advanced to have some fun with it. So go give it a try. And here is the third project I wanted to share with you, a wooden jack-o-lantern. This is another great project for a beginner. This project can be made out of a single cedar fence picket using only cross cuts. Now, while it's a good project for beginners, those that are more advanced might be interested in making it because you can add elements to the construction. You can also paint this. You could carve different faces. I've seen some that are done with some really amazing uh, carving. So it's sort of a scalable project in relation to skill and effect that you can have. Um, but importantly, this can be a simple and easy project uh, for a beginner that can bring some great satisfaction. This is not an expensive project because it takes just one cedar fence picket. This one is six inches from here to here plus the lid and the stem. Uh, but I've made them nine inches and I've also made 12 inch ones. In terms of tools, I used a compound miter saw. I used some clamps. I used my nail gun to nail it together. In fact, if you want to see the entire build, I made a video about this and I'll put a link here on the screen and down in the description if you're interested in seeing uh, the entire build. But because of the simplicity of the cuts, they could be done with a variety of tools including a handsaw if that's what you've got in your shop. Um, interestingly, for those who like to sell projects, 
my wife and I have sold some of these and they make great gifts. This one is going to my mother. So this was a fun one and I encourage you to go give it a try. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, keep an eye out for the links to the, to the build videos. And I hope that if you like these kinds of projects, you subscribe to this channel where we, where we cover projects, tools, and tips. Thanks for watching.